And next, we have the parallel processing system. And this is a much higher end system. So what is parallel processing? So in the past, let's say this program required a CPU, one single, one single CPU to process the program for five seconds. And uh, so this is the time of a single CPU. But if we have more than one CPU, uh, if we have more than one CPU or one CPU processing core, then we can split the program. Let's say we split the program into five parts, five smaller programs. And then we have five CPUs. And now the situation will becomes that each CPU will only need to process the subprogram for one second. But this one second, they are occurring at the same time. That means you need only about one second to process the whole program. But they have to be split into five parts. The programs are split, are split and executed by several CPUs at the same time. And after that, the process results are then recombined. And therefore, a parallel processing system will save the user a lot of time because the several CPUs, they are working together at the same time. So it is especially suitable for processing computational intensive jobs, that is very complex jobs. We can make use of an analogy to show the concept of parallel processing. For example, we have five cars here and we have a single toll. So let's say if a car needs one second to pass through the toll, then five cars in the series will need five seconds to pass through the toll. But what if we have five tolls working together? So one, two, three, four, five tolls all together. And then the five cars can be arranged in a parallel manner. And then since each car needs one second to pass through the toll, so it will take about one second to process the requirement of the five cars.